Good evening and thank you for joining us for Krem to News 10 at 10 where we give you more news in less time. Let's get started. A 16 year old's in custody tonight accused of accidentally shooting and killing his 15 year old friend. Police say it happened yesterday as a group of teens home from school for a snow day played video games. Krem 2's Kyle Simchuk joining us live in the studio tonight with what we now know about this awful incident. Kyle. When we've learned that the 16 year old appeared in court today charged with manslaughter and unlawful possession of a firearm, Reardon's police chief told us he hopes this tragic shooting will be a wake up call for parents to keep firearms secure and away from kids. Late this afternoon, investigators from the Washington State Patrol took down the yellow crime tape and left this Reardon home where a 15 year old boy was accidentally shot and killed. Around the same time, the victim's 16 year old friend appeared in Lincoln County District Court. According to the Lincoln County Record Times, a judge set bond at $100,000 and ordered him not to have contact with the other three witnesses. It's, it's a tragedy. Um, what makes it really sad is all the, these five boys were all friends. They all hang out together. That firearm had no business being transported by a juvenile to this home. Reardon Police Chief Andy Mankey says prosecutors are reviewing the case and charges could be added or amended against the 16 year old. Investigators are also looking at how the teen was able to get the gun in the first place. We don't know if it will lead us to any any um, criminal filings against any any other um, actors in, in this incident at this time. We're, we're just not there. Attendance was optional today at Reardon schools where the victim and his four friends attend. Mankey says the entire community will suffer this tragedy, which could have been avoided. 15 year old, 16 year old boys are, you know, that live in a rural area are very interested in firearms and because it's, it's part of the culture out here. But um, we really have to, you know, have parental supervision when we have firearms and we have to keep those firearms secure, you know, so things like this don't happen. A sergeant with the Lincoln County Sheriff's Office got to the home just two minutes after that 911 call came in yesterday. He performed CPR but was unable to save the 15 year old. Mark. Kyle, thank you very much. Tonight, investigators outside of Orlando, Florida are still trying to unravel a shooting rampage that left three people dead, including a nine year old girl and a TV reporter. Newly released body camera video shows Orange County Sheriff's deputies arresting 19 year old Keith Melvin Moses, the suspected shooter. Tributes for Dylan Lyon, the reporter who was killed, have flooded the Internet over the past 24 hours. Jesse Walden, the photographer who was with Lyons, is still in the hospital today and is awake and talking. I would never intentionally do anything to hurt either one of them. That was South Carolina lawyer Alex Murda on the stand today. He's accused of killing his wife and son back in 2021. In his testimony, he maintained his innocence, but he did admit to lying about his whereabouts the night they were killed. He said an opioid addiction was clouding his judgment at the time. The jury is expected to make their decision next week. All right, let's talk weather. It was a brutally cold day across the in the Northwest, but luckily the end of this Arctic weather is in sight. Let's get right to Chief Meteorologist Jeremy the Goo for what are weekends looking like, Jeremy? Well, the weekend mark is looking absolutely better than what we've seen. We just have to get there. It's another cold morning across much of the inland northwest, and that's with feels like temperatures ranging from 10 to 20 degrees below zero. Those are the wind chills, and they're going to stick around as the wind continues to blow. It is 8 degrees currently in Spokane, 6 in Coeur d'Alene, 9 in Sandpoint, and 12 out in Ritzville and Moses Lake. Those cold temperatures combined with the wind has it feeling like it's below zero from Ritzville through eastern Washington and through much of North Idaho. It is just downright cold. The good news is there's an end in sight. We know that as we get into tomorrow morning, the wind becomes much lighter and that lighter wind means that it is not going to feel quite as cold. So by the time we head out the door, it feels near zero and by tomorrow afternoon, it feels like it's back up in the 20s by Saturday in the 30s and by Sunday, you won't even care that it's snowing because temperatures are going to be much warmer than they are right now. Oh, any improvement we'll certainly look forward to. Jeremy, thank you very much.